Hey, good morning. We are in Sundance, Utah. We drove up yesterday morning uh, to this team retreat that we're doing. It's not actually a team retreat we are hosting. It's hosted by my friend, Barbie Kalev. You may know who Barbie is. She's been doing coaching like I have for like 12 years now. She's the wife to Sagi Kalev, um, who is the trainer, uh, the celebrity trainer from Body Beast. But we're here at Sundance for a team retreat. Yesterday we got here um, in the af mid afternoon. We went to the corporate office. Uh, there's like, it was so, I love being in the outdoors. I absolutely like, I'm in my heaven right now. Uh, but we saw wild turkeys and they were gobbling and everything. So that was awesome. But four of us, there's, a, there's about 15 of us here. Four of us took a hike to Stewart Falls. The snow is still, there's still a lot of snowpack up here. I'll show you another view. A ton of snowpack. So Stewart Falls is 200 feet tall and the water is like pouring out like four times uh, more intense than normal. So the waterfalls were absolutely beautiful. We hiked it last night. Uh, we got back, we ate dinner together. And then after dinner, we, uh, we did a fun activity. I shared my story and then I have 10 questions that I asked them. Uh, that are about self-realization and what are the things that are holding them back in life. And if you guys want to see those 10 questions, go to my Instagram stories. I put those questions in there and you can screenshot it. And I think it'd be a cool activity for you to answer those questions for yourself as well. Uh, we did that. And then the cool thing, one of the cool things about that is afterwards, there was 10 of us down there doing that, is after we did uh, answered those questions. It took us like 40 minutes. I would ask a question. We'd give them three minutes to answer as we went through the room and each person shared the one that was the hardest to answer. And then we all just talked and helped each person work through and understand how to um, change what it is they need to change uh, that was directly related to that question. So that was fun. Went to bed at like 1130 midnight ish. I uh, woke up at seven. Uh, we had, we all drank our, our super dense nutrition shakes, had some pre-workout, which we didn't really need because we ended up just doing um, uh, a yoga workout from Morning Meltdown 100, 20 minutes. But we did that together. You can also see that on our Instagram story. I think I put like three little clips up from that. So that was super fun. And then afterwards, uh, Barbie uh, Kalev, she led a, um, a guided meditation. It was like seven or eight minutes. So we all were sitting in the living room. She walked us through it. That was super awesome as well. So, hey, I see everyone hopping on here. Hey, Carlos, we saw Carlos Aguirre. He leads the Latino market with our company. Uh, we went to the corporate office yesterday before we got here to the retreat. Had an awesome uh, talk with him. Hey, Connie. And uh, we're here at the retreat. And like I said, I'm just in my, my happy place being in the outdoors. But I'm gonna show you guys uh, this is a three floor, a three story cabin. I'm not gonna walk through the whole thing because people are getting ready for a photo shoot that we're gonna do today. Uh, so I won't walk through, we don't wanna surprise anybody with a video camera. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is just take you through the main floor and show you the view off of the deck. Hey, what's up, Caitlin? And people are just, some people are eating breakfast right now, so we'll walk through and show them. Show you what's going on, this is the kitchen. Heather over there, she's one of my rock star coaches cooking breakfast. And this is a diamond retreat for Barbie team. Very fancy. But this is the cabin. There's my beautiful wife, Gabby, chilling with the view. I could sit right there all day long. Check out this view. I'll take you out on the deck so you can see it better, but Anyway, there's a, a loft upstairs and a downstairs with game rooms and stuff, but we're gonna do some s'mores. If it's cool outside, we're gonna do some s'mores tonight, but if it's cold, we'll do them right here. And I'll walk you out here. I don't think I mentioned where we're actually at. We're at Sundance, Utah. And Sundance, Utah is the place where the big film festival's at. And if you don't know where that's at, we're probably like 45 minutes from Salt Lake City. So let me show you the view out here. Yesterday we hiked to this waterfall and you can, you can see it out here. Uh, but four of us hiked it. It took an hour and 15 minutes to get up there. And then um, it took us like 45 minutes to get down. And it was so worth it. But it was really cool uh, to see nature and how, how, like, how crazy it can be. There was, a few avalanche places we had to go by. There's still lots of snow up there. 
which is crazy because it's June 1st, but it just wiped out all the trees in the path. But the cool message behind that that I saw is that even though that happened this winter, there's already new sprouts and new trees coming up. So my message to you guys today is if you go through a hard time in your life that seems devastating, just know that there can be rebirth. There can be a change and in, in a clearing out of the old for a new thing to grow. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys this view out here. Oh, and we saw turkeys yesterday. They were like walking down the dirt road here gobbling. So it was, that was pretty cool. But this is the cabin. It's three stories tall. Absolutely beautiful. All the girls are gonna be getting ready for it. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a photo shoot. So they're all gonna go get ready. And uh, I think I'm gonna go sit in that hot tub. <laughs> but this is the view. Yes, absolutely, Carlos. The waterfall is up there at the base of that snow. So we hiked up there yesterday. I'm gonna be quiet, you can just hear the water and the birds. Here's the windows that someone was mentioning that are beautiful. So yeah, so this is the Sundance Resort down here. It's a ski hill in the winter. And the ski lifts down there are operating, but what happens is people ride their mountain bikes up the ski lift, and then there's dirt trails coming down. So uh, it's a resort that's used year round. Absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. All right, so today we got this photo shoot going down. Um, so I'll just keep you in loop with my Instagram stories. Uh, after the photo shoot we're gonna do uh, yesterday, go to my stories and screenshot the 10 questions. I'm telling you, they will help you begin to transform your life. Um, go through that activity, go through it with your spouse, go through it with a friend, go through it by yourself. Whatever it is you wanna do, write the questions out yourself, share them with me, whatever you wanna do. Um, but it's, it'll help you realize some things that, that are holding you back in life. Uh, after that, we're going to, after the photo shoot today, obviously we, we eat meals together here, which is cool because this is like a, our business. But the fun thing about it is that we're like a family. We eat, sit down and eat together. They're eating breakfast together right now. Uh, but tonight we're going to do um, some vision boards. We're going to make it, write out some new goals, some new visions for our life, and make some vision boards together. And that'll be cool how it'll all tie together with the 10 questions that we asked yesterday so that now that we actually uh, have solidified a vision of what we want to accomplish, then we know with those 10 questions, the things that are gonna hold us back and the things that we need to do to be able to achieve those things. So that's gonna be absolutely awesome. And, and because Carlos is on here, I'm gonna shout Carlos out. Uh, we did a little meeting with him yesterday and. He shared he's been doing uh, this type of business uh, like we're doing for 15 years now. And, you know, Barbie's been doing it 12. I've been doing it eight. And you become like the people that you surround yourself with. But he was saying from 15 years, he's been able to see the people that create success versus those that don't or those that fall away. And the two th and it comes down to two things that he shared. Number one, you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what it is you want out of your life and you know where you're going. And number two, you have resilience. So I want you to write those two things down. If you have a goal, make sure that you know exactly where you wanna go and then make a decision that you're gonna be resilient. And what that means to me, as we look at this mountain back here, you think about the fact of I'm going to the top of the mountain or you're gonna find me on the, de on the side of the mountain dead from trying. And so that's the type of resilience that you have to have to accomplish the goals that you want in life because anything worth having will not come easy and it's gonna be difficult, but it will be the most rewarding thing to be at the top of that mountain and look back and say, not to be the fact that you got there and somebody else didn't, but for you to say like, I went through the hard stuff and I learned and I grew and I became like powerful uh, through that experience of doing hard things. And that's the most rewarding part, the journey. So guys, we'll see you guys later. Have an incredible day. And uh, thanks for hopping on with me.